You know I gotta come back Uh, my name is Marina Markovic, I'm a visual artist from Belgrade. For several years I lived in New York, so that was the moment when I realized, you know, like I never felt like I'm Serbian or I come from Belgrade, that, that determined me. But then living in New York uh, made me realize actually that's one layer of reading my work. I don't like the labels, but then I like to play with labels. I have a tattoo. So I was doing uh, all the things that people would say about me, one on top of each other. And I made like a little bruisery here. A lesbian and then a stepmom and then white, but whatever, like how would different people perceive me, all the things I would be. And I did tattoo one like on top of each other. It looks like a, like a wound. You know, like here. In my entire artwork, I use the skin a lot. I use, I love the double sideness of the skin, its ambiguity, everything about the skin I love because skin is something that separates you from the world. But then on the other hand, it's a border. Where is your end and where is the beginning? Like uh, of, the, of the world around you. But then the skin is such a, uh, amazing surface for projection. So I, I'm an ambivalent person all the time. I have, I never do any artwork if I'm sure about something. So I like, I think that my greatest inspiration is a tension. So whenever I have like extremely black and extremely white, and then I have a clash within me, then you know, I'm like, okay, I have a new artwork. So, and it was like that. So I like, to put myself in that mold of ideal. I like to be obedient and to look cosmopolitan and vogue and to look like that. But on the other hand, break those rules. I want, I'm a rebel on the other hand. So I have both marinas inside of me. So it's like a clash. So I realized that I need like uh, embodiment in order to deconstruct. So I actually don't have tattoos that are not part of my work. So it, they are all pink. They are, I chose pink not only because it's the most subversive color ever, <laughs> and I use it a lot in my, in my entire practice. But then also like on the skin, the pink looks like it's a part of the body. So it looks like a, I don't know, scar or like something that belongs there. And that's what I really want. So uh, I had many different art projects here. You cannot see them. Uh, but uh, the one, the recent one, is the arrangement. I make the arrangement with a gallery or institution who I already exhibited with, or they, like we did something together, we collaborated. And I invite them to choose the place on my body for their logo. So, and if you go back, like I realize, like how I ended up with that idea because I come from a, a village uh, in Serbia that is really known for the pigs, you know. So when the pig meat is good, they put a stamp on it, you know. So it's like a good meat. I didn't want that reading that I'm like victimized or I'm just a piece of meat. I, I don't care about that. But I like the way that you get approval. You know, you get a stamp and you get approval. And because I like all of my art is do, dealing with the body, so that's where I get the approval. I like uh, role play and I like uh, power play within that. In art game, you have the gallerist or the institution, you have the artists, you have collectors, you have the game, gamers who, is, who are playing that game. And I love dynamic in between them. I love, I love the whole game. And it's not like somebody is victimized there and, or somebody is like a slave and somebody is master. It's like a, it's like a switch. I'm the one offering the game and then nobody ever refused it. 
so far. <laughs> There's like 74 different <laughs> logos uh, on my body. So, and they like to play as, as art is a good, good game. And then, and then I, I do tattoos, but now I wanted to start with like uh, live performances. Like, so whenever I'm like collaborating with some institution, art fair or like a, a gallery, whatever, I do their logo. So that's that's the part of the arrangement. And like there are like, uh, I don't know, here you have White Box New York, you have Q21 Vienna, you have ICP New York, Kunsthalle Berlin, like you have, uh, and it's like a part of my history and a part of my artistic history. I think that the arrangement project is going to, to, to I will do it until I'm like, probably until my dad, but Maybe after, I don't know, maybe I would have some retrospective <laughs> exhibitions after my dad, so they will incorporate. It would be nice to have like something like taxidermia or something, but hopefully I will not have place on my body. I would say I just like to play, but on the other hand, I don't like to fight. I, I'm a fighter in a way that I like to overcome the obstacles, but I don't think that art market or art, uh, I don't know, art game is a, like a like a bloody game. I if I'm a victim, I'm the aggressor. You know, like that's that one I like. That's that's how, for example, my anorexia diary was made. You know, I was subject and the object of the whole game. And then the same part of my person, the aggressor, who was, you know, like perfectionist and like calculating calories and everything, was the same one that was um, actually pulling myself, pulling me out of that. I don't think I ever gave my 100%, ever. It's the inner urge to be perfect, to be this, to be this. Anorexia was actually part of it. You know, you're never enough this. You're, you, you don't have enough control. And control is also the big issue for me. What I was discovering the most and what I really wanted to dive in was actually my shadow. The part what I expose is that little part and the rest is in the darkness still. My grandma would always say, Marina, shine, don't burn. Because they knew that I'm like uh, <laughs> very, yeah, as you would say, volcano. Why am I so like intense, maybe? Like, and I think it's out of the darkness, actually. You know, like, I think that I'm so like ambis, you know, and then I collect that and that's, that's actually what, why, why this little peak of the light is so intense.